Next, Ukraine says Russia has launched a ground assault and is trying to breach defences in Kharkiv. There's been intense shelling in the town of Vovchansk, which is just three miles from the Russian border. Ukraine says at least one civilian has been killed and five others have been wounded. We get more now from our military analyst, Sean Bell. And, Sean, it's interesting, isn't it, because so far Russia has concentrated a lot down here and suddenly they're opening up a new front right up there in the north. Yeah, absolutely right. And part of the question is, is the question of why. It was 5 o'clock this morning, the Russians did the attack. It was Kharkiv, but it was the Kharkiv region, which expands quite a lot above that. It's actually now two people killed and five injured, we understand so far. Vovchansk, as you say, is only three miles away from the border there, um, but uh, that was um, had to have 3,000 people evacuate, evacuated from it. The Russian attack was not... It was guided weapons, it was artillery, it was also uh, infantry on the ground. The Russians apparently advanced about a kilometre until the Ukrainians managed to get some reinforcements into the area to stop it. The real question, I guess, from an analysis perspective is why there? And I think there's probably two key reasons, one of which, the Belgorod. We've talked a lot about Belgorod. It's only about 20 kilometres inside Russia mm. and it's a key logistics hub for a lot of their military activity. And the Ukrainians regularly fire artillery shells across it because artillery has just got enough range to get to Belgorod. So President Putin has always said he wants to create a buffer zone yeah. and almost certainly just by pushing Ukraine back, he creates some of that. The other region is, although Russia's unlikely to be to take Kharkiv by attacking on a second front. It forces uh, Ukraine, with its limited resources, to have to spread bet a little bit across the two, and that undoubtedly just makes life a little bit more difficult for Ukraine. Um, and we've seen the missile attack. This is some footage we've got from the Ukrainian Special Emergency Services in Kharkiv itself, an S-300 missile uh, struck there, but the entire town of Vovshank has been reporting that there's some artillery rounds coming in. How do we think this fits with Russia's military objectives? I mean, is it the sort of element of surprise here? I'm not so sure it's surprise. I think this is basically exploiting a window of opportunity when Ukraine is so short of weapons. Frankly, the Donbass seems to be the uh, focus of special military operation. The key region around here, this sort of area here, is the bit that um, Ukraine is uh, still trying to hold. Yeah. We're expecting to see Chavez Yar being one of the targets next. But it's a grinding war of attrition that Russia's doing. Ukraine seems to be trying to trade territory for time until the next batch of weapons come in as, as while Russia uh, put... But they're also, Ukraine's trying to make Russia pay a really high price for every metre of ground they take. Mm. I'm trying to sound positive, but the harsh reality is Russia has momentum, it has initiative, they're really important in warfare, and it's almost certainly going to be a very difficult few weeks for the Ukrainians. Yeah, they're waiting for those US weapons to arrive. They've been voted on, still not making a difference. Thanks very much indeed, Sean. Yes, Matt.